Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Roman in the Robbo. So we left Wave Rock this morning, we're headed to Hopetown. Hopetown's right on the southern coast of WA in between Albany and Esperance. We had about 250Ks uh, to travel today. And on the way we stopped off at these big grain silos. So there's a Fremantle artist who's painted these three silos depicting the life cycle of the Banksia tree. So, makes it a little bit in interesting. Something a bit different. Breaks up our trip as well, gives the kids a chance to get out and stretch their legs. Yeah, really cool. Look at them. Okay, so we've obviously got the flowering of the banks here. You can see the little bird getting stuck into all that nectar. And then obviously it starts to go to seed in the middle one. And then by the time you get to the final one, the seed pods are starting to open. Dropping down their seeds for the next generation. Okay, so we've just pulled into the caravan park. We're staying at Hopetown Caravan Park, and man, it's windy. <laughs> yeah, that's the disadvantage of traveling in a camper trailer. We're gonna have to strap everything down, put all the guy ropes out. We really want to put the uh, the awning up, get us some shade. I mean, if there's a lot of trees around our site, we won't need it, but I quite like having the awning up, to be honest. But if we do put it up, we'll have to put guy ropes on all those poles to hold it down. Uh, but it's quite a quite a cool looking little town. Hey guys, did you see that um, that big hotel on the corner? Yeah. We'll go and have dinner there one night. Um, yeah, just waiting for Miranda to get back. She's going to go and uh, check us in. So we're right on the beach, actually, just behind the back of the caravan park. It's uh, it's the Southern Ocean, so we're going to do some fishing, some full driving, some swimming. We've got the body boards. The kids have got scooters. They zoom around. I'm sure that there's going to be some play equipment and a bouncy castle, lots of bouncy pillow, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, can't wait to check out the town as well. So, all set up. We're tucked right in there amongst all these trees. All right, so no need for the awning to go up. It's still windy, but where we are, we're nice and sheltered. So we're just tucked in right there. It's a little bit breezy out here. In there, not a breath of wind, but it doesn't really matter because we don't even need to get the awning up. Now, I sent Cam on a little bit of a mission. So, just over the path from our campsite is this little track, and I said, Go see where it goes, mate. Let's go see. Whack your hat on, go and have a look. Tell me what's up there. And he reckons that you come through this little track and it opens up onto the most beautiful beach he thinks he's ever seen. So, let's go and have a look. Oh, look at it. Hey, hey! Oh, yes! Woo! Have a go at that! Oh, man! Hey! It's like a 30 second walk from where we're camping. Yeah, we're at a caravan park, but look at this beach. It's windy, but that doesn't matter. It'll die off hopefully, and it'll be beautiful out here. Come do some fishing out here, eh bud? So as it turns out, we might have the added advantage of two setups in one day. 
You see, we're meant to be camping right next to the couple who we're meeting up with. Um, but as it usually is, when you come to these caravan parks, you ask to be next to each other and you end up being spread apart. But it looks like they have two bays that are diagonally across in a different location. So we're going to pack up, move 20 meters, set up again. Winner, winner. Happy days. Okay, well, this is uh, definitely in the realm of dodgy. Half packed up. Haven't even got any of these clipped down properly. Boat rack's only half on. <laughs> Everything's been cleared out. It'll be worth it. It's gonna be worth it. We're gonna be right next to them. Uh, but yeah, certainly a dodgy setup. Clipped on. Haven't bothered with the chains. <laughs> Haven't bothered with any of the electrics. Because literally, we're 20 meters over there. So, here we go. All right, all set up again. Here's a uh, here's a hot caravan park tip. If you're traveling with other people and your bays are meant to be next to each other, but they're not, don't set up until you exhaust all <laughs> avenues of getting next to each other. Because now we're next to each other and we had to pack up and set up again. So the other couple. It's just down there. We're obviously just here. And we were just over there. That was frustrating. It <laughs> really was. was. Another tip. Rookie mistake. I totally forgot what side we open up on. I mean, how ridiculous. Boat rack opens to the driver's side, not the passenger side. God. Anyway, all set up again. Yeah! <sighs> Time for a beer. The camera's doing some exploring down here at the beach and he goes, Daddy, Daddy, you gotta come and have a look at this sunset. He's right. It's absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Hey Cam, you're right, bud. That's a good sunset. That is a spectacular sunset. What better way to start the morning, hey? Come stroll down the beach. Got my coffee. Cammy's behind me. And have a look at the view. Well, I've got the sun in my eyes. <laughs> look at that. Oh. It's a massive big fish. Wow, look, whoa. look at it. Are you sure that's a fish? What is it? I don't know what it is. It's like a... It's a valley. Nah, I don't know what Barramundi. it is. I don't know what it is. It was huge though. I know. It might have been... God, I wish I knew my fish species. Nah, it's not a tail. It could be like a little baby shark maybe. What? Look at it. Whoa. whoa. Drop some blood into water to see if it's a shark. Daddy? <laughs> no, 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 no. What Whoa. is that? Right. <laughs> oh, I really want to go get my fishing rod now. <laughs> what the? I mean, you can't get any closer to shore than that. He's right there. The... Some sort of massive fish. <laughs> yeah. Where is it now? He's literally just there. Like not two meters into the water there's like a little bit of a, a gully there yeah yeah oh man oh there's a sting no that's a stingray that's different there's something else in there as well yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's all happening yeah. I want to go get the... along here, but I've never far seen out. Like that. can we get 
Oh no! What the hell? Can, can we get brilliant. a fishing rod, Betty? What, what the... What on earth? Oh, stingray I really, and a fish. I really want to go fishing like now. Like a stingray. We just saw, we were looking for the other fish. And then the stingray just started flapping his wings out. I really want to get my fishing rod. Oh rod. man, alright. Come on, let's go get our fishing rods. Oh yeah! This should be fun. <laughs> Three young kids, one adult to tie all the rigs. I'm gonna get loads of fishing done. It's gonna be great. It's all about the kids having a good time, isn't it? <laughs> it's a matter, mate. Too much tackle, huh? We're almost there. You had any bites yet? No. Nah, that's about right. And then there was one. So the kids lost interest pretty quick when they weren't catching anything. They took off up the dunes. Left me here to fish by myself. So it's nice and relaxing now. Caught a little sand mighty, caught a crab, caught a flathead. All really, really small. But uh, yeah, I got this magnificent beach all to myself now. Well, I say all to myself, there's other people walking around, but I haven't got the kids constantly wanting me to rebait and cast for them. So I'm going to enjoy my fishing by myself. Hey, what you got? <laughs> Little mini flathead. I think he might be a touch on the small side, eh? <laughs> there. Catherine and Steve are here. The bait next to them has become available. Here. We're moving again. Yeah. Yep. Look at that cheeky look on her face. God. And we're finally home. <laughs> much better so packed up set up the third time in two days much much better to be honest how you going with the wind <laughs> not good skirtle <laughs> lost your hat yet a couple of times Good Lucky thing. I had my strap on. <laughs> <laughs> Might look silly, but it comes in handy. <laughs> so we just took a little walk to uh, downtown. Not much really, just your typical country town. There's a uh, there's a hotel or a pub. 
real estate agent, post office, IGA, visitor center, bakery, uh, like a little, uh, what would you call a service station. So what do you got there? My cleanup bag. So Hopetown had free cleanup bags that you take to the beach to collect the rubbish. It's a local initiative and the guy also makes little trash bags, car trash bags. And they're all for free. How fantastic is that? That's so, so cool. cool. I know. So a bit of a slow start to the morning really. We've pretty much only just finished breakfast. It's 11 o'clock. 6k walk. Did a bunch of fishing. Caught two tiny herring. Now we're out to Starvation Bay. It's about, what, 40, 45 Sorry, k's east of Hopetown. The pictures in the, in the brochure look stunning didn't they mm, so nice. hopefully that we're a little bit out of the wind over there being a bit of a bay fingers crossed um because it's a little bit windy here still um it was nice first thing this morning but the wind's whipped up again so hopefully over there it's all good Pardon? kids are excited they got the two ways so a little bit of a road trip I don't. starvation bay here we come Holy oh, we just have to jump out the car because <laughs> this little fella made an appearance and Miranda absolutely freaked. <laughs> <laughs> there is a tiny little guy. Miranda reckons it's the size of a 50 cent piece, but... <laughs> so we just pulled up at Starvation Bay. I was kind of hoping to be a bit more sheltered than it is. It's not too bad though, but there's another spot just around the corner called Power Point. We're going to go and give that a look at the moment. Let's see if we can get out of this wind. Right, so typical of WA, it's absolutely blowing a gale here. So we're just trying to find a little bit more of a sheltered bay for some lunch and a place for the kids to have a bit of a swim. So we're just airing down the tires now. We found a track that goes up into the bush there and we're hoping it leads us tucked around away from out of this wind and we can have a nice little afternoon. So we'll see where it takes us, hey? Right, so after a lot of messing about and to and froing and a bunch of pinstripes on the side of the car because the, uh, the four wheel drive access to the beach, it got really tight. But Jeez. it's still windy as buggery. But have a look at this. This is where we're having lunch. Got the kids playing already. Scrubbling over the rocks. The adults have already got the beers and the wine, and Miranda's making lunch. here is a member of the 40 PSI club. What's happened? Oh, shit. <laughs> Ooh. Look at that one. That's how it's meant to be. See how high? Sitting proud. <laughs> All right, so this is the importance of letting your tire pressures down, but also to have decent recovery gear. Got a spare. Receiver hitch. Whack that in the back, mate. Can't recover off a toe ball. Can't move. We're going 
went to snatch strap out. I'll yank him out backwards. Worst thing about kids is they never listen, so they're all getting in the car before we do this recovery. It's nothing serious, just a, a light little tug out, but you can't be too safe. Can you guys get in the cars, please? Sure. Jacqueline in the car. Oh, can you get back in your car? Thank you. All right. It's actually the first time I've used this snatch strap. So here we go. A light little tug out. Problem. We've got nothing to sit on. I had to get the chairs out the back of the car when we did the recovery. Left them on the beach. God. <laughs> How did we not see that when we went past then? Because we recovered them and then we zoomed up the beach more, didn't we? We tore off up the beach, so we went away from them. Because I pulled them out. I had to get him out of the boot to get to the recovery gear. I threw him up on the dune and I said to myself, that's a stupid place to put him. Have you not learned? But then I thought, thought about that, I won't forget, like I forgot the keys on the camper when we hired one. We got back, we got no chairs to sit on. So we're at the Tom Curtin, Catherine Outback Experience show. They're going to do singing and horse riding and dog shows. Are you guys excited? Yeah, we got weeds. Ah, oh, check it out. It, it authentic. Tastes yum. Very authentic. What do you reckon, Steve? Feel better you got your hat on now? Oh yeah. Yeah, I was feeling a little bit out of sauce before. Feeling a bit out of place. We had to go get the girls to go back and get our hats. Yeah. And the flannel. I haven't got the, I haven't got the boots. Nah. It doesn't matter. <laughs> wow, there's a lot of kids out there. Okay. <laughs> Dogs aren't going to be able to jump on the drums. That's it. So you're going to have like 10 to a drum, doesn't matter. The only thing you've got to be wary of, okay, is when the dog comes out, you've got to have a little alleyway so the dog can get onto the drum. We need a little alleyway here because sometimes, you don't mind going that side. Keep hanging on. Yeah, because sometimes he jumps straight through and cleans up the kid there, okay? Hey, Fluffy! So hang on to your drum here. Look out, there you go, Fluffy. Where are you going? Good. Hey, there you go, Patty. Okay. Good. Okay. So, yeah, Fluffy's very excited, little fella. Good, Fluffy. Good. Lucy up. Very good. So, you can pat little Lucy. And she's like the little girl up in front of the class. She's always trying to impress, always do the right thing. So, it's um, pretty cool. Good job, Lucy. Good job, Lucy. Hey. Good job. I like the snow and flames. Snow back and out. Is it? Good. Teacher just want to speak. Snow back. Good. Snow back. Good. Back back. Good. Snow back back. Good. Sit. Very good. Loose. Oh, Molly's taking the baby back. We haven't put a baby in there yet. I don't think I trust him that much. But he does get a bit of a kick out of the big fella. I love that beer with Duncan, and I love that beer with Duncan. Drink in moderation, never, never, never get rolling drunk. We drink at the town and country, where the atmosphere is great. I'll tell you with Duncan, Duncan, me, my
and it can, it's a mad run as well. So there's three combos of how cows run. So once you get there, then Emily goes, and then Eliza goes, so it's like a relay. Good. One more lap. Good. So now what we can do is come around and see if we can get him to stop. Whoa. And ask him to side pass in where he should be. That's okay, please, mate. Good. 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 Another hungry young man from another land I was chasing down my dreams. Heading northwest, put myself to the test, lost in that scene. Like a bullet again, it just couldn't wait. Man, I had a lot to learn. People in the land had other plans. I was gonna crash and burn till an old man says. He said, I was very young. So when you click your teeth to um, go, okay, she sort of runs faster than the other one. And. Do you, a, do you want to go faster, Shannon? <laughs> <laughs> you can do the splits here, okay? What it is you're gonna see The battle between the angel and the devil is settled by which one you choose to fight